Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Plant Boy. My name is Cade, and as you can see by the title of this video, today we are going to be doing a little tour of my space and taking a look at all of the different plants that I have and um, just doing a little chit-chatting. So let's dive right into this. So starting off back here, this is a south facing window. Actually, this is a north facing window. Um, we have a Diffenbachia. I forget what type of cultivar this is. I'm not the best with Diffenbachias, but I'm really hoping that um, this one will do okay. Um, I'll show you my massacre Diffenbachia uh, later. And then I have a Tillandsia up here. This is an air plant, not sure the variety. This is a golden pothos, looking pretty good. Um, definitely starting to trail out pretty nicely now. Um, and I'll probably propagate this eventually, but um, I'm liking how it's starting to trail here. Next, we got some Epiprenum aurum or some golden pothos. Um, some nice, uh, pretty large foliage here, actually. Um, these, was a, these were a single leaf propagation that I took last year that I planted recently, and I actually just slapped some Marble Queen put this propagation in there uh, just because I could. <laughs> and then I have a pretty decent sized snake plant here. I love how vertical snake plants grow, um, which allows to kind of fill out a lot of space. And then I have some more Marble Queen Pothos propagations just planted a few days ago, <laughs> and the roots are already coming out of the bottom here. Um, these are the snake plant propagations that I took in my snake plant propagation video. They had about two inches of root growth on them, so I went ahead and planted them up. And then this is another snake plant propagation. You can see these were the original leaves. I believe this is black coral, um, but these were the original leaves, and then they shoot out pups from the soil once they establish. And then you have um, these guys here, which is really cool. And we have a little string of hearts with a peperomia. Ooh, I forget the name of that, but there's a peperomia in there as well. And you can see that it's actually just starting a little bit of new growth there at the bottom, which is exciting. This guy does not look very good. It's like totally bald there and then it, it's okay here, but I've never had a string of hearts before. This is just a little propagation I bought. So we're gonna uh, roll with that. This is a squash that I accidentally cut off of my garden and we're waiting for that to ripen, pay no mind. Um, I trimmed back one of my peperomia, um, Pillier, Pepperomoides, sorry, and I kind of deadheaded it, and I'm going to try to water propagate this guy. It has a lot of thrip damage. Um, it was actually it had some pretty bad thrips on there, but we will see how that goes. Uh, an Adansonii leaf without a node, so that's not going to do anything, but I figured I'll just stick it in some water. And then some string of pearls propagations. Um, these are the string of turtles that I have right now. So I had several, whoops, um, <laughs> I had several um, like one inch planters propagations. These are actually four one inch planters merged together into a four inch planter. Um, and I will propagate as this grows to kind of fill out the top of that. And then we have, um, this is a string of dolphins. Also some propagations that I had um, that were just transplanted today. And you can see why they're called string of dolphins. Um, they're just like your other Senecios, like your string of bananas or a string of pearls. They just have this interesting um, shaped foliage here that does kind of look like a dolphin. Then this is a Scandapsis pictus or a silvery anpothos. Really, really pretty. And, and you can kind of see that leaf has like a really nice shine or sheen to it. Um, I think that actually happens because there's some kind of air pockets um, in between the cellular levels of this leaf. So there's multiple levels and in between these levels of, I guess, whatever, whatever cells make up this plant, um, there's actually air trapped in there. And whenever light hits that, it reflects a silver variegation. As far as I know, I mean, I could be wrong. Um, this is <laughs> some pathetic watermelon peperomia. I cannot find this in my area, so I traded um, some Sansevieria for this online, and it does actually have some roots. I water propagated it, um, so I'm just kind of waiting on that to start to push out some new growth, hopefully here by the end of the year. Then this is a variegated string of hearts, also something I traded online for. Um, definitely pricey as these guys grow up. You could easily spend like $50 on a full-size plant of the variegated string of hearts. Um, if we look very closely here, 
you can see that we're getting some new growth there, which is awesome. So I think this guy is going to be pretty happy um, in his home here. And then this is my black cardinal philodendron, uh, which was shown in one of the videos. No new growth yet. I'm still just kind of waiting on um, new growth to happen here, trying to figure out what it, uh, what it likes. And this is my Prince of Orange philodendron. Uh, you can see it has really uh, shiny, glossy leaves right now because I've been battling thrip larva on this plant. So, I mean, I'd be really upset if we could find any here right now. Um, but I actually soaked this and the root ball today um, in pesticidal soap with neem oil and dish soap. So I'm hoping that that kills any larva that are in the root ball and any larva that were on the leaf. You can see um, they've been doing some damage. Like you can see the... Uh, we are kind of splotching on this foliage. But let's head outside. Actually, I'll show you around the house some more and then we will head outside. Here's that Diffenbachia I mentioned. I don't know. <laughs> Diffenbachias are tough and this guy is not very happy. Um, I've been struggling with this guy for over a year now. So it is pushing out new growth. So that's not really something to be too concerned about whenever you um, have a self-heading plant like this. It's normal for lower leaves to die back as the plant grows up but I don't know. Here we have a Peperomia obtusifolia, aka baby rubber tree. Um, and then we have a Calathea rosa picta or a Calathea medallion here. Um, yeah, really cute. This guy has been doing pretty well here actually. You can see some new growth starting there. And moving on, we have a Limelight Dracaena here. Um, this guy's eh, not doing so hot. I think it's been battling like kind of a fungal problem here for a while, ever since last year. And like the other Dracaena that I have outside, my Durano Dracaena, um, this guy has some weird splotting, uh, splotching on the foliage, which is very interesting. I've looked for pests on this plant. I can't see any. So that's why I'm kind of inclined to believe that it could be a, um, a fungal or viral or bacterial problem. And we have my string of hearts here. This guy has still been battling mealy bugs, but I soaked it in some isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Adansonii. It's doing pretty well. I found some mealy bugs on it. I actually have mealies and I've already purchased it, but I was so excited to find an Adansonii that I just decided to rehab it. This is a regular ZZ plant, nothing special there. And then this is a Raphidophora tetrasperma that I have on a bamboo stake. Um, and it seems pretty happy here. I think it's kind of enjoying its time here. Um, but I love the Raphidophora. I think it's so cool, the fenestrations on the leaves and just how fast it grows too. This probably got, I don't know, I think all of this root, all of this growth from this leaf up has been within the past month. So it's definitely a pretty prolific grower. And then right behind me here, um, I have a golden honey. Um, rosette forming snake plant. This is a Bantel sensation snake plant. I just repotted this today. Uh, I actually hacked it up for some trading and then I uh, put it into a smaller pot. And then I have my Cylindrica and some uh, Lucky Bamboo that is kind of pissed at me for whatever reason. Um, but you know, we'll see how that goes. And then we have a Talancia bulbosa. So here is the porch right now. I'll just give you a quick little tour here. Uh, we have some aloe vera here, big old mother plant. And then this is a spider plant that I'm trying to rehab. I have a video um, in the process. We're gonna, I just repotted it. So we'll see how it goes. And then this is a Peperomia obtusifolia, or baby rubber tree variegated. Also just repotted pretty recently because it became so top heavy. This is a white bird of paradise. Um, and you can see, if you look closely, we have a new leaf coming there. You can just barely see it, it's right here. Um, and then we have another spider plant, some Marble Queen Pothos that's doing pretty well. I definitely put it out a little too early this season and it got a little pissed at me, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> this is a Ruby Ficus, Ficus Elastica. Um, and this is definitely one of those do as I say, not as I do moments because um, the foliage is so dirty on some of these plants. Um, not my favorite plant though, I can get into that someday. And this is a Dracaena marginata, no, not a marginata, a Durano Dracaena that I have. 
Um, if any of you know why this splotching happens, please let me know. Totally unsure. Moving along here, we have a Brazil philodendron. I do have a care guide on this guy. Um, it's been dropping quite a bit of leaves, but you know, say a prayer. Um, Hoya carii here, um, or heart-shaped carry. Don't think that has a node, so I don't think this is gonna grow up at all, but we will see as time goes on. And then a string of bananas here. This is why you provide um, your senecias with lots of light from the top, because if you don't, they die back like this quite a bit. So it's very bald up here. The only way to fix that is via propagation, but it's doing pretty well um, otherwise. And then we have a nice Hindu rope here, a Hora carnosa compacta. And then some kind of Senecio. I was under the impression that it was a watermelon whenever I bought it. However, some people on that care guide have told me that it could be a raindrop or other one, but I'm not sure. Um, some golden pothos here. This variegation is awesome. That's what happens whenever you get a, you know plenty of light. It does much better. And then this is a Hartley philodendron, a Boston fern that's absolutely huge. This is a Hoya carnosa a tricolor or crimson queen. You can see why it gets its name. It has, you know, the white variegation, the green uh, foliage, and then has this really interesting pink variegation as well. And these stems are actually pink. Certain ones actually turn pink. This is a regular ficus elastica here. Definitely needs a good wipe down, but definitely a uh, pretty happy here. These are all new leaves coming out of the top. Um, ficus love their light. And then we have a Taniki or a variegated ficus. Also, this is probably one of my favorite plants. I think it's so, so stunning. And then we have a Monstera. A freaking unit of a Monstera. These leaves get huge. I love these uh, fenestrations here. As they mature, that is very commonplace. Um, and then this is that Pilea peperomoides that I talked about earlier where I deadheaded it um, because it had a thrip infestation. So I'm really hoping that, um, you know, I can handle that. I see a little something flying around here. And then this is one of the babies. It's doing okay. All right, everyone. So that was the tour of my space and all of the different plants that I have. As you can see, I have a pretty good collection right now. Um, I'm trying to kind of diversify my collection and get more rare plants and not have as many of the same ones. So it will be very interesting to do another tour video, hopefully at the end of this season, and see how things have grown up and what has changed, what has died, for God forbid, um, and what um, what has been added. But I appreciate you all watching and taking the time out of your day to kind of join me on a little plant tour video. So thank you all again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.